I want to talk about the story of my awakening and uh, understanding of my purpose. And um, I believe like everything I did from the Shakespeare Festival as a, an events producer, as a startup person that under, you know that basically found the fallacy in startups where over 99% of startups fail and of those that succeed, 90 of those you know fail and of those 10% that succeed, 70% of those are considered failures. That's extremely high. And I became, and I, you know, and, I, and because of Occupy Wall Street, I stumbled on to the whole CAGR thing in 2010. And I realized we need a new kind of corporation, one that was autonomous, one that was self-driving, one that was by the people, for the people, had no board members and everything else. And I called them open corps. Um, and uh, at the middle of it all was the noodle. I described the noodle, would run it all. And, uh, you know, and there would be this fund, um, you know, Bitcoin fund that would, you know, that would, uh, and you would be able to tokenize everything. And as these objects tokenized and rolled out, they became their own, you know, open corps. And uh, I couldn't get any funding. I couldn't get anyone to support. I was at my wit's end. I, uh, you know, I even went to uh, Norm Chomsky and I said, Norm, dude, his video came out called The Wealth and Power, the Power Cycle and how it's, you know, screwing everything else and how you can see what's going on with Trump and everything else. I said, I got a solution for this, but I have no, no one will get behind it. I can't get anyone to freaking pay attention, which is a good thing because I wasn't finished with my work and I wasn't awake. I was into, you know, I just knew it. I had this feeling, this drive. I mean, and uh, he says, I can't help you. And I was, and I was at the, I was, you know, um, I was having trouble with my wife and she stopped having sex with me and I, and I couldn't deal with that. And then on top of, you know, I, it was just a, such a bad year, 2011. And I, and I, you know, I, I attacked her and I felt even lower at that and I started I was really great and it forced me to start meditating and I started you know um, meditating um, at the Butsudan and then a strange thing occurred and this was around you know December of 2011 a circle appeared now I know I have a video and I'm actually putting a hundred hundred dollars in ETH reward if anyone finds that video it's on either one of my two channels because I only have two channels up there it's either the found up channel or my eduit channel right and I'm not sure it's maybe on my found up channel but I'm not sure but I've linked them both in here and um, but I remember making a video because I remember thinking to myself well this is weird why do I have this and I made a video I was like look at this this is really strange I've got like a circle on my face and it was as though the, the blood had drained from a perfect circle on my face and I knew, you know, I knew that the mine, you know, uh, calendar was ending the year later, right? So uh, I Googled, you know, mine plus circle, you know, kind of quote quotes. And the moment I saw the mine zodiac cam calendar, here he is. There's my, there's my framework going around his head, coming out of his head, a product of his head. There's the noodle in the middle looking out. And I have, uh, you know, I have a computer with with those kind of legs on it, you know, these kind of rapid legs that you see down here. And I could, you know, I'll take a picture of it and share it. It's right here. This is my old monitor. It's kind of weird. And I immediately thought, this is, fuck, this is me. Now, back then, we didn't have the blocks. And it looked like he was struggling to stand to me, right? It was like, and that's my struggle. But then being, you know, I'm not, you know, I, I don't really believe in hypnotism and all that bullshit, you know? I don't believe in, you know, in, in, I'm not a really big fan of reincarnation, you know, and uh, super spirits and all that. So I was like, no, 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 that's stupid. This is just, a, this is, I'm seeing all this stuff. This is just all, you know, I'm, this is silly. And uh, I kind of said, well, no, this is symbolism of an entrepreneur struggling with his an idea on his back. And, you know, he's got his, tool, you know, and, and he's trying to stand up and launch. And I had no idea, you know, what you know, I, um, what the new age was, the fifth age. I had no idea. There was a lot that I still wasn't revealed to me on this, you know, on this basically roadmap. It was a roadmap designed for me. And, um, you know, 
you know, what it turns out, the fifth age, it took me, I mean, it really took me this year because of the, the, the AI paradigm. It, the fifth age is, is AI. It's the end of man, right? It wasn't the end, it was the end of the end of age of kings, the end of, you know, the kings. AI has taken over. And 20, you know, and, and really, um, you know, that represented my awakening, right? Seeing that image, I wasn't waiting. It took me until another year, you know, for me to start to, to think, yes, this is me, right? And then I was like, wow, these are the 19 Danos, and these are the 19 brothers, or these are the 19 that are going to usher in this new age that I called social capitalism. And, um, you know, um, but that's kind of where we at. And if you look at the AI, it's like the blank face looking out into the world. This is obey, which I used to call the noodle. Obey. It obeys us. Open, beneficial AI. And that's the fund. It's like a vault, too. If you look at it, it looks like a vault, right? It looks like a hard wallet on, the, on his back. It's the AI protecting the hard wallet. It's the, it's the Bitcoin Global Reserve Fund. And what I realize now is that my diagram, right, that I originally did, my first ever diagram of, um, you know, um, of found ups, which is a circle, again, and uh, I am trying to find it here, put it up here, on, on, I'm working on the thing here, yeah, here it is. So I'm actually, um, um, it's a circle, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Um, and that's where I was like, oh, there's, you know, there's a circle, and in the middle of this, I don't have it in here, but, you know, it has the noodle and everything else, the open startup innovation framework, that's what Ethereum and all these other things are. Ethereum is an open startup innovation framework. People can launch their ideas on this framework. Um, and what I realized just really recently, it just dawned on me that this image is the right image and that it is Bitcoin, that Bitcoin is moving through this. And really, UPS or the, the, uh, the uh, tokens are representations of projects, right? Um, they are... Um, you know, they're just, they're, they're hardcore assets, they're tokens, they're not coins. So the, um, you know, the UPS represents that, um, those, uh, those assets and collectively, uh, the valuation is underwritten, but I don't want to go into that. It really, you know, so you could read the white paper on that, but I just wanted to share this with you guys as you, you know, understand the importance of this work that if you decide that to, uh, you know, to join me, right, and be part of this. I, I'm looking for folks to basically um, help me work through um, the pages. Uh, I have issues with, for example, the, so I'm, I'm going, you know, I, I should have just stopped it there. Maybe I'll just edit back. Um, the Awakening. So, all right. <sighs> What I want to talk about is the book. So the awakening now, I'm telling the story. And the story is really important because the story is the story of humanity. And it's really, really weird. And I want to talk the story side of things because I didn't start, I mean, when I came to Japan, I did, I did, um, Distributive Unconsciousness was the first work that I worked on. And whilst I was doing Distributive Unconsciousness, I stumbled on to Elaine Morgan and her Aquatic Ape. And I wrote and added, you know, something called Easter Island Ape. And I sent it to her, and she was like, yeah, it's really cool. I really like your, your metaphor, and if I ever write again, I'll quote you. She didn't get a chance to write again, and she passed in 2013. But the cool thing is now I am actually putting in her work and my work and the whole origin of, the, you know, the, of, the, of humanity off the, the, uh, the north coast of um, um, northeastern coast of Africa, where where Yemen, the Yemen area is, um, there is an island. And if you look at Google Maps, you could see that it was land. And, and probably at one point, there was probably a way through there. You know, or, you know, a long, long time ago, it would have been landmass that's moved away, right? Split away and created the, the thing, and, and uh, it would have locked people off. And um, that's where the origin or, or you know... Um, the origin of humanity, we basically ate ourselves off that island and we, uh, we moved to the, we were forced to move to the land because there was nothing left. And if you look at that island, the island looks like it's been devastated by, you know, by hungry men. 
So the the you know the book, it, you know I, I I told the story in transcript. I had it transcribed. Now I'm working through the transcription and trying to clean it up a lot myself. And then what I hope is that people will take sections of it and rework it, make it better, and then I tip them. And you know I don't know what I'll tip. You know I don't know what you know. Um, um, you know, if you do a lot, I'll tip a lot. If you do little, I'll tip little. But, uh, you know, giving up to. So, I mean, I'll give 100, you know. And I think um, everyone who participates in it should get credit as part of it. My, you know, my vision for it is that any profits that this book, movie, story generates, it all goes, I'm not interested in, in making money off it. I want it to go to the fund. So 100% of the profits that are generated, and if we can build movies and other things and stories and series and people like this and we can all work together, um, you know, it's going to launch Danos. And, you know, and if you understand my work on Danos, it's going to help you, right? UBIs and everything else. And everyone who participates in this, um, you know, is, is a stakeholder of this Dano, right? This is our, this is our, our education Dano, part of Eduit. So... Um, Anyway, so tell me your thoughts, and I hope you'll be part of it, and uh, the main thing is have a good time. If you're in it for the money, and you're, you're trying to get big tips and stuff, I'd say go elsewhere. Um, I've got a lot of, you know, other things to fund. i got to get t-shirts, i got things, i got so many things. So, you know, I'm putting a big number to entice people, um, but I'm really looking at tipping probably $500 to get this done, you know, but... I'm just being honest here, but if uh, if people do some amazing stuff, then uh, I'll do some amazing tipping. What can I say, All right? And if anyone has issue, you feel like you've done a lot of work and I didn't tip you, then please bring it up, man, and fight for your case because it's subjective, right? And I have the final word, and um, you know I don't want to make this about money. I want to make this about really doing something epic.